or Francias, the land of France has been a united country within itself and with the other countries too through all these years. However, once the World War II forced it to be divided into two subordinate countries, they were indifferent from each other. The north was known as occupied France and the south was known as Vichy France. The name occupied France is called so as the Nazis from Germany captured it and the army in occupied France had to fight on their side reluctantly and unwillingly. The capital of occupied France was Paris as it is today, but it had been in a more devastating state. It was not like the beautiful and elegant Paris today. The north of Paris was deserted with villages, towns and farmsteads empty and all the buildings had crumpled and fallen down like stacks of bricks. Just the churches and cathedrals remained. There were just a few grains left and little food. It was like a famine. The crops were rotting as the Germans left nothing behind. Now all the thing that was left was the graveyards and pyres of the corpses of humans and animals still on the ground and not decomposed. There was no work to do. The humans had molded and shaped the country such and now the blame was on the army and the workers of the German masters. And that was the only thing that was spoken about. While on the other hand, Vichy France had a different scene. It had crowded streets that were full of French senior officers, political aspirants, businessmen and government officials lounging in cafes, bulgarians, hotels and boulevards. They would be striking games and fishing in political pools. There was not a wide range but adequate amount of food. The farms were not harvested properly due to lack of attention. And now for the requirement, the people were returning back. The Vichy government was agreeing to the Germans unforceably. These conditions make, make France to what it is today. The astonishing and unexpected change of the cities in France is appreciated till date. This makes it the best tourist destination.